Hi guys, it's Anthony Molinaro from O'Brien Real Estate coming to you from my house in stage four lockdown to present another edition of the Eastern Weekly Property News for 2020, where real estate information of course is on the house. The good news this week is the race is on on the home lending stakes. Last week, we announced the first lender to offer under 2% interest rates. And this week, well, we can say Homestar Finance has betted it at 1.98% fixed for one year. There is always a positive in every situation and investors are seeing the world glass half full rather than empty at the moment with eight days of gain on the US stock market and momentarily Aussie stocks hitting a two month high. Now August is the month where the end of year company performance is announced and investors will be eager to see what profits look like and more importantly what dividend yields will be announced. We know as real estate agents that investors mostly move between stocks and bricks and mortar and if dividends are cut we could see some investors move back into the real estate market and of course the savvy investor can buy well at the moment and fix an investor loan from as little as 2.39 percent now with first home buyers to remain very active in the market due to the attractive financial concessions and if investors decide to move back into bricks and mortar well we could see a momentum shift in the real estate space our friends at Heron Todd Wright released their national property clock data for August and this week it shows Melbourne has moved on the dial to now of more of a declining market. And this comes as no surprise after last week's announcement from CoreLogic that Melbourne house prices have dropped for the third consecutive month. However, we are still in a great position as we are still up 8.7% on prices year on year in Melbourne. Now let's review the numbers this week across the O'Brien network. We experienced subdued numbers following stage four lockdown announcements, as you would expect, but the numbers are better than what we thought. And it just goes to show that the real estate market never sleeps. We saw 55 properties launch into the market with 62 properties moving to under contract and 58 confirmed sales across the group with the highest sale price achieved being $1.6 million. Now with business as usual in unusual circumstances, it's still possible to get a virtual rental or sale appraisal from one of our friendly staff with absolutely no face-to-face -face appointment required. To find out more, simply reach out via email or phone and we'll be ensured to help you where we can. Now that's all for this week. I'm Anthony Molinaro and remember, the information provided is of general nature. You should always seek independent legal, financial, taxation or other advice in relation to your unique circumstance. Until next week, bye for now.